The state of Minnesota held an omnibus hearing earlier today for Connor Bowman, the man charged with first and second degree murder of his wife, Betty Bowman, at the Olmsted County District Court. KMT News 3's Evan Berg was at the hearing with Judge Kathy Wallace presiding. And Evan, what did you learn while in the courtroom? Emma, it seems likely we're still a fair ways off from a trial as both the prosecution and the defense have yet to publish a full witness list today. However, Everything else being addressed today was about two questions, whether Connor Bowman had a reasonable expectation of privacy while using his work computers at home, and whether the warrants he received from police had probable enough cause to seize that information. Friends and family of Betty Bowman were in court to watch as the prosecution and the defense came together to hash out a few issues before Connor Bowman's trial is scheduled. Both sides sought to address lingering questions before the judge. That meant addressing concerns about evidence obtained from Bowman's remote work devices used for his job at Mayo Clinic and as a part-time toxicology specialist at the University of Kansas' health systems. Both were addressed with key witnesses involved in the process and some of the evidence obtained by the searches. That included calling Teresa Keller, a former vice president and assistant chief legal officer for the Kansas health system, to the stand as Keller was one of the first people Bowman called when his work computer was seized by the authorities. Keller testified to initially being notified by the company's IT department and Bowman of the seizure and subsequently keeping his data on file in case of a subpoena. Keller said the company's IT department noticed unusual searches from Bowman outside of his usual consulting work, including searches for the drug involved in Betty Bowman's death, Cochlean, and searches for defense attorneys attorneys in time surrounding her death. The IT department told Keller after finding these results that they suspected he had killed his wife. The state also called Chad Nelson, a Mayo Clinic risk analyst to stand to talk about the internal investigation Mayo began surrounding Betty's death. While Nelson couldn't speak to many specific details found in his team search, he and Keller both testified to Bowman being made aware of their company's policies for monitoring work devices and communications. While the defense objected to the entry of some of the evidence presented today, the exhibits obtained from the search of the device and relating to both companies' media policies have been allowed for now. The defense was also planning on calling its own investigators today, but decided not to in order to reconsider the scope of their testimony. Judge Wallace has given the defense until September 23rd to file any additional complaints about the scope of search warrants involved. Back to you, Emma. Thank you, Evan. The trial is set to have a second omnibus hearing that is yet to be scheduled to go over additional concerns before the trial.